Hey y'all and welcome to part nine of what I eat in a day as a Harvard student. This one's gonna go a little bit fast, so let's get to it. For breakfast, we had a fruit salad, sausage, potatoes, and eggs. I ended up leaving, I believe, the potatoes and the eggs just because I was running late to class and I really just didn't have the time for it. So I tried everything, good as always. Breakfast is usually pretty solid. Then for lunch, I went to Tate's and I had a breakfast sandwich. Literally the most amazing thing I've had. I studied, then I got some Starbucks, went back for dinner where I had chicken tenders, fries, and then I attempted to try the grilled cheese, but it was like good initially but then it just wasn't great so we just left that behind i also left the dessert behind but i had a coke um and then after dinner i went back to my room and here is the official fit check bye gather around everybody here is what i ate today as you can see i woke up feeling fresh and revitalized not i was actually so tired so i just made my porridge it was chocolate here it is in all of its glory absolutely stunning then as the perfect tiktoker i am i forgot to record my lunch but i did take pictures so i had an egg and chicken sandwich not not really exciting but it was good then i had a chocolate and banoffee flavored protein bar this is a misfits bar it's so good they're all so good but my favorite is the s'mores then right so this is supposed to be a salad topper but i eat it as like a seed mix it's like garlic flavored it's really nice then i had a cherry bakewell flapjack bar which is actually oh my god it isn't so good and i discovered that i can make kebabs at home so i've been making these i didn't know like that you could actually make them at home i only knew that you could get them in turkish restaurant so i've been making them they're really good and then to finish off, I had a big old yogurt bowl um, with some peanut butter. What are you in a day? Started off with yet another failed attempt at dippy eggs and soldiers. How cute are these egg cups though? I found them down Barry Island. Little Welsh dragons. Mayo always saves the day, so I just had some egg mayo on tiger loaf. Then I put this Tex-Mex pizza in the oven from Morrison's, and while that was cooking, I had some slapjacks. I do not understand people who use a knife to cut their pizza. Like, use scissors is so much easier. Obviously got to have the biggest dollop of mayo. I have never seen a pizza like this before. Mince meat, peppers, onions, jalapenos, stunning. Then on our way up to Newport, we've got a meal deal from Tesco. I got a chicken triple and some chicken satay sticks and lots of wine. What I ate at the baseball game. Chili cheese dog with onions. Fries with ketchup. Pepsi. Very salty pretzel. This cheese was bomb. Went for some Chicago style pizza after the game. Caesar salad. That cheese pole. Water mandatory. I feel like I'm back in Chicago. Peppers belong in pizza. Meet my food baby. is a good food day today, I won't lie to you. And all good hangover food days start with the Mackeys in bed. I had a double sausage and egg McMuffin with two hash browns, sour cream and chive dip, and a large Diet Coke, and it was just so good. Then me and my sister went out for lunch, we went to a cafe down the road from me, and I had something called Hackney Toast, which is avocado toast with maple syrup, crispy bacon, and hash browns. Just 10 out of 10. I had a Vimto as well, which was fun. Then I had to do some bits and bobs for my holiday. I had to go to Primark and the queue. Don't talk to me about it. It was fucking disgusting. Picked up some chicken strips and some Diet Coke for dinner, because tonight we are going beige. I had a plate of literally the most beige food ever but i had these mexican snack things which was like jalapeno poppers chili bean bites croquette it was so good and then the barbecue chicken strips from iceland and some diet coke and i just enjoyed it so much then started feeling sad about the fact that my birthday is over but i have had such such a good weekend so i had some birthday cake and i watched heartbreak high i'm gonna get an early night and go to the airport tomorrow 
Why in a day? Takeaway edition. I fancied a McDonald's breakfast, but I was too late and I missed it. So I had to settle for the normal menu. For my side, I had 20 chicken nuggets, sweet and sour sauce always, stunning. And then I had a large Big Mac, removed all the salad, and added extra cheese. If you don't add extra cheese in your Big Mac, you're doing it wrong, stunning. Had the Sprite Zero. Refreshing. I found this in my cupboard. Galaxy Cake Bar. Oh my God. So small, but so good. Say it with me. One biscuit is one bite. I had a fiber one bar as well, just because I'm constipated. I'm having a drink tonight, so I'm not eating much. Got some vodka and gin. Before I drink that, though, I had to go to Greg's. I haven't had a corned beef pasty in a couple of days, and I was craving it. Guess where this Greg's was? In Tesco. Why don't my local Tesco have a Greg? Sorry. Two corned beef pasties. Hello, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. Today, it did not turn out the way that I planned by any means in terms of what I ended up eating, but I am so happy with it regardless. I started off the day with one of these Jimmy Dean uh, breakfast bowls that I jazzed up with some peppers and some salsa and some guacamole, and it was so filling and so good. And then, of course, I had to have some watermelon because I'm not finished with watermelon yet. And then if you can actually believe it, I made my lunch today, finally, because I've skipped it too many times this week. So I made a Caesar salad with my favorite healthy choice steamers, which I absolutely love. And then if you are not putting these on top of your salads, go run to the grocery store right now. I am absolutely obsessed. And then for dinner, I thought that we were going to go out to a restaurant, so I was going to have a bit more control over what I ate. And they ended up making this wonderful dinner for us. There was a homemade vinaigrette on the dressing. My friend uses her own homemade cheese sauce instead of ricotta and the lasagna. Oh, so good. And then I ended the night with a couple bites of homemade apple crumble. Del I get high when I'm feeling my flow My mind is focused and I'm ready to go Ready to go nah, nah. It's like falling from grace I know I'm blessed cause I found my way I'm feeling fire and I'm ready to slay Ready to slay nah, nah. You got me so Welcome back to another what I eat in a day for breakfast. I had a Trader Joe's pumpkin bagel and I had the most amazing toppings. It's tofu cream cheese, some fruit, and I had a coffee with it. For lunch, I had leftover pizza from the night before. This pizza is the best. And then later I snacked on this plum cot, which is a plum apricot, and it was so juicy. It was like falling apart. And then for dinner, I made a random stir fry with some tofu and brown rice. And after this, I went out for drinks with friends. This is day 13 of only eating fruit and veg. So I started the day with my ginger and lemon shot. And I just like to appreciate how glowy my skin is looking. It's honestly never looked this healthy before. I'm obsessed. So for breakfast, I wasn't really that hungry. So I had a banana. And then for lunch, I had one of these stir fries again. I've only got a day left, so I'm just using everything up in the fridge. Then I had a handful of blueberries that I shared with my gorgeous puppy, Stan. So I haven't been that hungry today. I don't know if I'm coming down with something. I've just been wanting to snack. So I had a fig and one of these yo-yo twirl bars before dinner. And for dinner, I had a jack potato, baked beans and a side salad. And oh, look, a source of protein. Go me. It's my last day tomorrow, I'm sorry. If you want to know what I ate today as a recover from a binge eating disorder, just keep watching. I saw that there was one bagel left in the fridge and it inspired me to make something like a BLT sandwich. This has a couple slices of turkey, bacon, tomato, and arugula. It was really good, but if I had to make it again, I would definitely add more slices of turkey bacon. When I was putting my dishes away, I saw that there were mini maple castellas and I decided to eat those. I finished the bag, which only had three pieces in it. I'm the most vulnerable to a binge right after I finish eating, and I was definitely getting the urge to eat some more. This reminded me that I needed to drink some water. I was chilly in bed when my sister asked me if I wanted to eat some pies that she made. I'm eating this straight from bed because I was a little chilly and I didn't want to get out of my blanket. I only ate one slice of the white pumpkin pie, the other two slices were my sister's. For my lunch, I made some fried rice which has some chicken and shrimp inside of it and topped with my favorite chili oil. This is a big comfort food for me and I pack some of it away so I can eat it during my break. 
I'm eating this around 4.30 and it tasted just as good. I got home around 8 p.m. and my dinner combination is a little bit weird. I normally wouldn't pair chicken strips and rice together, but apparently this is what people were eating at my house tonight. I seasoned the rice with some soy sauce and furikake, and honestly, it kind of slapped because I went in for a second bowl. But that's where my night ended. How did you guys do?